this is mostly for you guys. If I wouldn't have had you guys believing in me, believing that I could actually race, I don't think I would have been truly motivated to do something like this. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys believing in me. Uh, all right, guys, I'm at my first race ever. We got our number plate right here. Oh, you can't see the age though, I can't. Let me show you this one. The other one got my age range on it. Got the number plate right here. First race ever. And it's at Trek Trails. What other place than to be here? All right, guys, it's race day. We got the imminent out, ready to go. I think I'm ready for this, guys. Yeah, this is my first time. Switch, I'm kind of nervous, but five, I think we'll be five, fine. Five. I think we can do it. I just don't want to finish last or get a DNF, which is right, did not finish. But we're going to do it. We got this, guys. All right, guys, it's game time. Got some blocks. Got some hydration. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, this is going to be tough. I'm wishing you a great ride. Thank you. I appreciate you too. We are at the start line and it's time to get active. Learn to be safe out there. Learn to communicate. Seven, six, five, go! I can't believe I'm actually racing, but it's happening right now, and we are doing it. Now, I got some tips before the race, so I'm passing this guy right here because they told me, try to pass him if you can going into the trail because you're a pretty good trail rider, and you don't want to be stuck behind someone that's more of a cross-country rider and not oh, as comfortable as you are in the trails because they will slow you up. This is a perfect example right here. I bet these guys killed me on the climb, but they're slowing me down on the trail. So there's a lot of strategy that goes on with this. This is the hardest part through this prairie, but this bike, they pedal so efficiently. It really helps. Now, all throughout this race, I'm learning as I go. And like I said, you gotta have strategy and I didn't know that you had to have strategy to race. And this is another example of me being stuck behind somebody because I let him go in the trail before me because he was a better climber instead of me just toughing it out and climbing and trying to get in there before he did. Slow and steady, this first lap. I'm sure you guys are wondering why I don't just pass him. And I said, you know what? This is my first race. I'll just let him pace me for a while and just try to stay behind him. And when I get a free chance that I feel comfortable, I'll just pass him because I don't want to burn out too fast. Now we hit the double track where it's a little bit easier to pass people and he stops up here, lets us go by and now we off to the races. Did you guys just see those trees I dodged? That's another reason why I'm glad I did the pre-ride because as long as these handlebars are, it's nice to know that I had to dip through some narrow trees because I wouldn't have known those were there and they would have definitely caught me off guard. You got it, you got
I'm spoiled by the dry heat. This humidity is getting me. It's beautiful in here though. Who would ever know Wisconsin was so beautiful? This is actually pretty awesome. I don't feel as much pressure as I thought. I'm just cruising at my own pace, slow and steady. Well, a little bit slower than steady. I gotta do this again? Oh my goodness. All right, as we finish the first lap, I'm right at 32 minutes. This race is 10 miles long, so five miles each lap. The first lap, five miles, 32 minutes. Is that good or bad? Let me know for my first race. Awards over by the Red Bond. <laughs> Uh, I got a little sweat in my eyes. I had a feeling that was going to be a factor. Oh, tight. Feeling pretty good, guys. This is my second lap. And I'm feeling we can finish strong. These wide handlebars are making me a little nervous on these on these trails with these narrow trees. This is mostly for you guys. If I wouldn't have had you guys believing in me, believing that I could actually race, I don't think I would have been truly motivated to do something like this. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys believing in me. We are pushing right now. That's crazy how you guys can see see this in me more than I can see it in myself. I mean, of course, there's a ton of people out here that's super good, super fast, but I do feel like I'm holding my own though. I will admit, this bike did give me the confidence to want to do this ride because of the way it pedals. If I can get my hands on one of these, I definitely will, because this is a climbing machine. This is the climb that hurts. I'm questioning my life choices right now. Almost there though, let's go. The second lap honestly feels better than the first lap. I feel warmed up. I just did a climb that's super hard that I wasn't looking forward to. First time I struggled a little bit. Second time, wasn't too bad at all. Okay, hey. thank you. Here comes the home stretch, making our way to the finish line. And you know we can't have our first race without something crazy happening. This guy happens to fall right in front of me. Thankfully he was okay, but it had to be something to slow me down right before the finish line. So I could have finished a few seconds faster, but it might not have mattered. But yeah, I got slowed down just a little bit. So 
here we have the list and where we placed. I had two goals. One goal was to finish the race. The second goal was to not finish last. And I didn't finish last, and I finished the race, so that was a win. I was 122 out of 170 riders in my category. Both of my laps were pretty much the same times. So I think I was 50 seconds off, which was pretty cool. So I stayed pretty consistent. And out of my age group, I was 12 out of 15. So that's not too good, but we finished the race. We did it, and I feel accomplished. Is Maggie banned from riding here again oh. just because he did a wheelie? This dude made me do it. Pablo made I, I do I it. Didn't <laughs> make him do it. That sounds like Pablo. Now we're going to talk to Pablo, who I met in Bentonville and made this all possible. Thank you for having me out, and you are awesome at racing. How do you feel about second place? I'm so proud of you. I had a fun time. I peeked at my heart rate monitor. My heart rate was 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 way up there. Uh, one of my buddies beat me, um, but what I always tell people about this is we're not racing against each other. We're racing with each other, with our friends, and happy for my buddy John who beat me. Happy. I had a great race, and, and it was nice to see some new faces out here. Um, I will say about cross-country racing one of the things other than just biking like it forces me to get into really good shape and, and question what I eat question what I put in my body that said I'm gonna have another beer before I leave so this has been a great weekend and Maddie active thank you so much for coming you are the man <laughs>